Previously on Paradise Falls. You'd be good to this woman. She saved my life. Look, I know you've been going through a lot, but I don't see why we can't have a little fun. Not right now. The man who shot Officer Hunter, he said he was my real father. Did she ever have any affairs? You don't want to know. Yes, they had an affair. Yes, it was quick. Yes, Marty found out. End of story. Why should I show my baby to you? Because he's not your baby. He's mine. This is Tony Baroni with the Paradise Falls Community Report. In today's weather, blue skies, calm waters, another perfect day in Paradise Falls. To admit, part of me thought the place was going to burn down while I was in hospital. <laughs> Not yet. In fact, I fixed the leaky faucet in the ladies' room. I'm impressed. I should get shot more often. Have you been to the boat yet? Uh, no. Not yet. Is it still floating? You of little faith, huh? Oh, well, that's not true. I knew you'd take care of everything, and I really appreciate that you have. You've been very sweet. How's Jackson? He's good. Rose has been helping me out. Oh, yeah. Rose is great. How does a man like that live with himself? What man? You mean Noel? I mean the man who killed Val. Roxy tells me he's your father. Is it true? I don't know. If you see him, ask him how he feels about destroying my life. I don't suppose he even cares. I don't know if I'm going to see him. You will. You have to. I tried to help her. I'm so sorry about Val. I'm sorry about you, too. I couldn't live with myself if he was my father. They're from Braga. Oh, that man, I mean, he knows I like flowers, but this is too much. Oh. Happy 21st birthday, Suzette. Did you know it was her birthday? Um, here's to a speedy recovery. Asked to keep the gallstones Jack. They don't smell so nice now, do they? Happy Bar Mitzvah, Myron. There's also a couple of condolence cards. Well, I mean, it's a thought that counts. I'll throw them out. No, Pedal, you don't, you don't throw out flowers. That'd be like burning books. You just have to love them. Oh, even a bad gesture takes effort. I guess I should be thanking you for the 17 stitches. You want me to say I'm sorry? The woman you shot had a husband and kid. Hey, she pulled the trigger, not me. It was self-defense. Why should I believe anything you say? Don't. I don't care. Nobody's forcing you to. Why are you here, then? Were you having an affair with my mom? Yeah. That's what I said. 
Your mom was an attractive woman. Did my grandfather know? <laughs> Are you kidding? Braga kept her around the office just to keep me on the job. What, he pimped my mom? I'm saying. Braga knows how to clinch a deal. Your mom liked to have fun. You come from a good family, kid. to visit your sister. A couple of broken ribs, not bad considering. What do you want? Now that I got my check back, I've decided I'm gonna be generous. I'm not gonna have you arrested for attempted fraud. I'm not gonna have your sister arrested for stealing Roxy's ID. I'm not gonna tell the cops that this boat is stolen, which I assume it is. Take the keys, start the boat, go. I want you to leave Paradise Falls. Charlie's in the hospital. We can't go anywhere until she gets out. Well, it's so nice to see a brother who cares so much about his sister. But you see, that's not what I want to hear. I want to hear bye-bye. Bye-bye. You don't scare me. See, I got to watch my temper. Oh! I lose more votes that way. <laughs> so, uh, what are the, um, other hockey wives like? Ah, tits and teeth. Oh. Most of the guys are screwing around on them, but it's important to have arm candy when you're doing black tie, you know? Make sure you stretch your hamstrings. Oh, I'm, I'm good at black tie. I can pretend to be fascinated in five different languages. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, ah, uh, I think I pulled something. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. I thought you said you liked sports. Oh, no, 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 I, I love sports. I'll, I'll shake it out, yeah. Uh, yeah. Come on, Slowpoke. Uh -huh. If you want me, you're gonna have to catch me. Uh -huh. Come on! About time. Who said you could move? No, I'm not staying here any longer. I'm, I'm fine. I'm just a little sore. I called Trish already. She's getting her mom's car. No need more people. Yeah, I remember saying that, but you're still taking Brittany with us. Roxy's different. Fine. It'll just be you, me, and Trish. You're not supposed to sit and watch you two make out. Well, isn't that what you want? I'll meet you out front. So you're trying to tell me you had an affair with my mom? She got pregnant, Grandpa knew, and let her have the baby? That sounds right. That doesn't make any sense. Why would Grandpa do that? You have to ask him. I didn't even know Sarah was knocked up until the trial. So you don't know you're my father? It could have been my dad. Marty? <laughs> no way. Why not? Because Marty was a queer. You know this for a fact? He never sucked me off, but he was queer all right. Braga never told you that? Man knows how to keep a secret when he wants to. Today you could have waited for the weekend. You were shot. I'm not gonna wait. Oh, hey, how's your arm? It's nothing, you know. It barely hurts. Well, you were lucky. No, I wasn't that lucky. I lost a good friend. But it's it's okay. I am very glad to see you. Look, look, look yeah. at my flowers. Happy bar mitzvah, Myron. Who's Myron? I don't know. Well, let's hope he's not too upset about losing his mums. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, before you ask, I had a talk with Pamela. She does not hate you. 
I, I wasn't going to ask about Pamela. Yes, you were. Now, she had her reasons for the breakup, and before you ask, don't ask, because I can't tell you what they are, but I can tell you this. She still loves you. So talk to her. Well, we'll see. My father was gay. You wouldn't know he was a fag to look at him. I don't believe you. Hey, he wouldn't have sex with your mom. Your mom was hot. He was either a fag or he was dead. Maybe he just didn't like sex. Nah. He used to look at me. <laughs> they do that, you know. Queers can't keep their fucking eyes in their own head. I had one come on to me once. I took out all his teeth for him. <laughs> I guess I did his boyfriend a favor. Hey, I thought we was catching up. You're not my father. Says you. You're not my father because I'm a fag too and I know you wouldn't want a fag son like me. I'm from the cocksucking side of the family. That would be your mother. So, Braga spends a year treating you like shit. Language. Okay, crap. Better? You save his life and now he's a changed man? <laughs> well, I guess uh, guilt can be pretty motivating. I think this is more than guilt. What is it then? When we were in the ambulance, I think that he was scared I was going to die. He had this look in his eye, I could see it. And you know what he did? He sang to me. Come on. I can't imagine that. I know, big tough Pete Bragg is singing. <laughs> and it was really comforting. You can't still like him. I mean, so what? He sang. I mean, that changes everything? I didn't say that. I just said I was just thinking it was really nice to see the old Pete again. Be out of here in a minute. I want to see my baby. It's not going to happen. You two had an affair. Fine. That doesn't make you Jackson's father. Val called me last week. She said she was going to leave you, but didn't want to hurt your feelings. She told me that I was Jackson's father. He's not your son. Talk to the woman in the marina. Val told her, too. You don't think I would know my own flesh and blood? I'm coming by the house tonight. And if you don't let me see him, I'm contacting my friends at Children's Aid. Don't underestimate me. If I wanted me to be a part of that kid's life, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I've got a client, but then I'm going to go to my mom's place and get the car. Are you sure your brother's OK with me coming with you guys? Sure. Thinks you're kinky. Good. It's better than being fucking lame like the rest of this town. So who's this client of yours? Oh, he used to live next to a Catholic girls' school. You're not jealous, are you? Well, it depends. Do you want me to be? Mm. Of course. <laughs> Sounds like a freak. He's not the worst, trust me. I have this one guy. He likes it when he spanks me. One of your clients into lesbian scenes? Yeah, they all are. But I save that for the home team. I should go. I'm going to be late for school. Mm, how about if I write you a note? If you don't work out, how come you have such a good body? I figure the cigarettes stun the fat muscles. Uh. Plus the booze? Tightens my skin. <laughs> hey, you want to rub some cream on my back, huh? Sure. <clears throat> I'm not going to sleep with you. You know that. The important thing is we look good together. Uh -huh. How would you feel about moving down to Santa Fe? Pretty dry Santa Fe. I like dry. Pretty religious Santa Fe. Hmm. <laughs> 
Coach's wife, she runs a Bible school down there for the team's kids. <laughs> oh, you know what? Priests love me. I can't tell you how many gay bars I've been to with priests. So you don't mind me sleeping with other people? Baby doll, you take me to Santa Fe, you can sleep with as many little furies as you want. Mm, sounds good. It feels good. Petal. Come here. there's anything, anything at all I can do for you, I want you to tell me. Do you remember a year ago when Sarah Brago was killed? There was this cop named Bradshaw hanging around. He was working with Val. Yeah, I remember. Well, no one knew, but... Uh, well, him and Val, they were having an affair. Petal, that was a year ago. It's not gonna do any good to bring that up now. Bradshaw says he's Jackson's father. He says Val told him. He also says Val told you. I know he's lying, but did she, did Val tell you that Bradshaw is Jackson's father? I'm sorry. Getting Jackson home? He doesn't want to go home. He has everything he needs right here. I went to see Noel, like he said. Is he your father? Probably. It's funny how you can think you know who you are, know all the people around you, and you're wrong. You know nothing. I know Jackson needs me. It's more than I know. That's all I know. I just wonder if little Myron would have appreciated them as much as I do. Hmm. <laughs> They're beautiful, Pete. I just love them. Um, why are you being so nice to me? Well, you saved my life. Um, that's it? <laughs> that's a lot. And what about last year? I can remember a couple of choice Braga comments. I've had a change of heart. What if it changes back? It won't. It might. And I don't think I could take that. So thank you for the flowers, Pete. I, I love them. But no. mind about me? <clears throat> I haven't seen you all day. What have you been up to? You don't care about my day. <laughs> whoa, 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 where's the fire? Look, I don't want to talk, just fuck. <laughs>
Somebody's outside. Ignore it. It's no one. Stop it! What the fuck are you doing? Get out of here! You're doing this just to get back at me! You're acting like an idiot. Can't tell me what I can and can't do, Travis. Fuck you. You wish you could. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. I'll open the bar for you. You sleep in. Oh, uh, wait. Wait, I want to ask you something. When we were in the ambulance, you were singing to me. I didn't imagine that? No. What were you singing? Well, it's something my dad used to sing. It's a, an old pub song. Casey would waltz with the strawberry blonde and band played on. <laughs> He'd glide across the floor with the girl he adored and the band played on. He married the girl with the strawberry curl and the band played on. Thank you.